grade 4 students, my name is Sir JM, your math sayahing teacher. Are you ready to watch and learn? Ready your pen, paper, and notebook. Let's get it on! Before we continue our journey today, let me give you first the things that we have to accomplish and learn. First objective, the lesson today, the learner will order numbers up to 100,000 in increasing or decreasing order. And our first lesson today is arranging numbers. To understand how big is the number, we always do compare and arrange them from greatest to less or less to greatest. We are also make numbers simpler by rounding up numbers but keeping its volume close to what it was. Before we start, let's have a primary activity. For our activity, in this event, select the number which are not arranged in the required order. I'll give you 10 seconds to answer. Correct! It is number 1 and 2. We proceed to our lesson to understand why number 1 and 2 is not arranged in required order. When we compare bigger numbers, we compare the digits starting from the left. The greater the value of the digit, the greater is the volume of the number. To order the number from least to greatest, we will find first the least number and then the greatest or vice versa. Let's arrange the first three digits in number one from our last activity. Before I start, we remember these following steps. Step 1. Look the first digit of the number from the left. If all the numbers are the same, proceed to the next digits. Number 2. Do the same procedure until you find which number is greater or the less. Number 3. Then arrange the numbers according to what is ordered. Now, we arrange 2,560, 4,456, 3,654 from least to greatest. First, we put the numbers in vertical, then according to the steps, we look for the first digit of the number from the left. You can see 2 is the least number and 3 is done for, therefore 2516 is the least number. To arrange the numbers from least to greatest, we have 2,516, 3,654, and 4,456. Let's get another example. Now, we arrange the number from previous activity to greatest to least. I'll use the last three numbers. 780, 2,348, 1,468. Again, we put the numbers in vertical. 
We look for the first digit of the number from the left. Because there is no thousand place in 780, and 2 is greater than 1 because of that 2348 is greatest number. And the arrangement from greatest to least is 2348, 1468, and 780. And now our next objective, the learner rounds numbers to nearest thousand and ten thousand. Now, we proceed to rounding up. When we count, measure, and calculate, we sometimes use rounding up to give us an estimation and approximation of the actual volume or close volume. Let's have some example. Matsayayang Elementary School has an enrollment of 5,231. Can we round it up to the nearest thousand? The following are the steps on how to round up numbers to a given place volume. Observe when to be rounded up and rounded down. If the digit on the right is equal to or greater than 5, increase the digit by 1. If the digit is less than 5, retain the digit as it is. Then replace every digit to its right zeros. Now, we look to the right digit of the first digit. And the digit of the thousand volume is number 5. And next to the right digit is 2. Because of that, if the digit is less than 5, retain the digit as it is. Therefore, 5,231 round of the nearest thousand is 5,000. To understand more, we have another example. Round of the number 23,945 to the nearest thousands. The digit that has the place value of 1,000 is 3, and in the right digit is 9. According to the steps, if the digit on the right is equal to or greater than 5, increase the digit by 1. Therefore, we increase 3 to 4. Then we replace every digit to its right zeros. 23,945 rounded to the nearest thousand is 24,000. Now, it's your turn to show what do you learn in our lesson. Get your answer sheet and let answer the activities. Activity 1. Arrange the numbers from greatest to the least. I will give you 5 seconds to answer. Number 1. 865 875 864 Okay, the answer for number 1 is 875 865 864 Good! Number 2 1,243 7,589 1,240 Arrange now! Time's up! The answer is 
13,657 13,675 What's the answer? It is 13,675 13,657 and 13,645 do you get all the correct answers? And you arrange the given from greatest to least? Very good! Matuhusay! Now, activity 2. Arrange the following set of numbers from least to greatest. I'll give you 15 seconds time to answer per given. Number 1, 32,456, 32,983, 32,532, 32,124, 32,934. Okay, let's answer. For number one, the answer is first, 32,124, 32,456, 32,532, 32,934, 32,983. Next given, number 2, 19,432, 19,312, 19,910, 19,216, and 19,087. Arrange the numbers. Time's up! The answer is 19,087, 19,216, 19,312, 19,432, and 19,910. For our last and rounding up activity, activity number 3. Complete the table and round the following numbers to the nearest ten thousands and thousands. I'll give you a minute to answer the following. Time's up! Let's answer!
Do you got it all correct? Very good! We finished all the activity. Great job! I enjoy our lesson and activity. How about you? Now, before we finish our lesson, let's remember this. To arrange the number in increasing or decreasing order, compare two numbers at a time. Do the same procedure with the other numbers to be arranged. Then arrange the numbers according to what is ordered. To round up a number, underline the digit to be rounded up. If the digit on the right is equal or greater than 5, increase the digit by 1. If the digit is less than 5, Retain the digit as it is. Replace all the digits to its right with zeros. Did you enjoy our lesson today? See you next lesson. And remember, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. See you. Goodbye.